Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today we play deck hockey at Wick Recreation Area and a one-pot dish, baked pasta with sausage and cheese. But first, Kamara Jewelers' Christmas Miracle, four inches of snow. I'm here with Bob Kamara from Kamara Jewelers. And there was a brightness at the very end of 2020, thanks to your store. Well, thank you, Casey. Uh, we're all very, very excited. We just got verification that everything is cool and we're going to be giving uh, a lot of money away to 498 happy customers. I mean, the snow promotion has been going on for about a dozen years. I think. We try to figure, I think it's been about 12 years, yes. And that was that your idea? How did that whole thing come well, to be? we belong to a, a group of independent jewelers and you know, they give you ideas as far as promotions and I picked up on it back then and I says, you know. So the idea is we need four inches of snow Christmas day. Exactly, Reg at the airport. Registered at the airport. So it begins when? The end of November. We started the promotion November 30th and it ended December 17th. And the reason it has to end, we needed to give all the figures to the insurance company a week before the promotion ended, so. Yeah, and then of course, the forecast is out. So, right, exactly. you know, you could see possibly in the future, you know, if but by that far out, you don't really know. Exactly. And this is the first year it hit. It's so, the first year it hit and we're all extremely happy and excited to give back money to all our all people who bought and our loyal customers and you know unfortunately on the 21st of december the matriarch your mom yeah it was a whirlwind christmas uh my mom passed away december 21st and uh i gotta think that her and my dad <laughs> were up or up in heaven you know, I think they had a this. little so, bit to do with this. I think this. there's some karma there. So I do. It was a, you know, it was a very emotional Christmas. Happy, sad, and uh, but you know, it's all good. We're having a celebration of her life actually uh, this weekend. So, third generation owner of Kamara Jewelers is Brianna Kamara Pryden. You had to be. So excited when you woke up Christmas morning oh, and saw I that snow. I didn't sleep, let's be real. I stared out my window all night, like looking at the snow, wanting to know how much was out there. It was so incredible. And you're really handling all the details. So how does this work? <laughs> you put in for the promotion and mm -hmm. then you have to submit the receipts from the sales? Yeah, so this is our 12th year and um, it's anything any new jewelry purchase invoice from November 30th through December 17th and paid in full within that time period. Um, I turn in all those receipts to the insurance company and they send us a check. So for 12 years, you've never done this, right? <laughs> and you had to be, I mean, how was the phone calls? Well, um, well, first leading up to it, like the, the 23rd, we got calls from the meteorologist saying, this is gonna happen. Like the, a big storm is coming in. <laughs> oh my and we, uh, my, I remember my brother showed me the, the forecast and I'm like, oh my gosh. So I jumped on the call right away to the insurance guy. I'm like, talk me through this. Like, I'm, we're okay, right? Like this is, this is gonna happen. So um, he calmed me down. He said, no problem, call me on Christmas day. So I emailed him on Christmas Day saying like, this is really gonna happen, like. You'll never stop doing this now, will oh, no, you? no way. We almost didn't do it this year, which is so crazy. You know, we were thinking about it, you know, how do we do this with the coronavirus? And, you know, we already have so many expenses. Do we really need to pay for it? And, you know, finally like, we have to. And it dawned on me like the first weekend, I'm like, if it's ever gonna happen, 2020 is gonna be the year, so. <laughs> I'm Robbie Kamara, another third generation owner of Kamara Jewelers. The excitement is still so apparent in this store. It is, it is. I mean, your phone is ringing off the hook and the snow promotion, were you 
Were you always behind it, or are you one of the ones that thought maybe this was the year it shouldn't happen? So, I was always behind it. Obviously, 2020 has been insane. Crazy yes. things have happened. It's been so interesting. And, you know, we're sitting back towards the end of the snow promotion. It's December 17th. It's still kind of cold. You know, a couple years ago, it was like 60 and <laughs> everybody comes in. It's not going to snow. It's not going to snow. And yeah, they're right. Well, this year, the weather was changing for the better for us. And it actually happened. And we were gung ho. We were so excited. We were watching the weather every single day. And it was, I mean, it was the icing on the cake. The perfect storm. The perfect, the perfect storm. storm. And <laughs> such a magical Christmas to end this year. Were engagement rings up or down this year? I would say up. I mean, everybody's been spending so much time. <laughs> I know, you either love them uh, or leave them. You know, <laughs> the engagement rings went up, the divorces went up. I mean, it was just the whirlwind. <laughs> what is your prediction for 2021? You know, I think people really cherish everybody way more than what, where we were before, you know? I don't think people are always on their phones and all of that, not as much as it was before. And our attitudes have significantly changed because it has been a hard time for a lot oh, of us. Yeah. And so, you know, we cherish the ones that need the help and we are more helpful to those that need help and that ones that are lucky to help, they help. My dad was a good teacher. He was a great guy. I learned a lot from him. And if I could contribute it to anything, it's just, this is very old school ethics and treating people the right way, selling a nice product, standing behind it. I mean, it's not rocket science. And, you know, we've never compromised our integrity and our ethics and we're fair with people. And I think if I could contribute to anything, that would be it. And I learned that from my dad. And I'm fortunate, very fortunately for me, my, I didn't have to preach this into Robbie and Brianna's head. They saw the way I did business for years and they automatically got it. So I was very lucky there and I think they're gonna have a, a very, very good future. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for over 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may face. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court, and remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. Family-owned Mayflower Wilm Insurance Group is your full-service independent agency. Our family works with a variety of insurance companies, so you have the best choices for your insurance needs. Let us find the right product at the right price. Personal lines, business, farm, commercial insurance, life insurance. Trust locally-owned Mayflower Wilm. You focus on what's important. We'll take care of the details. Mayflower Wilm, close by with three locations to serve you. Woolly Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolly Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Join the Island Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. Given is living. Join the Isle and Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available at $13 an hour. Given is living. I am here with Rude the Dude from the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. Whether you're partying holiday style in person or at home, you've got everybody covered. Yes, we have them covered here. You know, we developed a really good catering menu, half pan, full pans, office parties, 
uh, family parties, anything off-site that we can handle, but also to in-site. We still have our banquet room, which holds up to about 85 people for buffets, limited menus. Again, office parties, family parties, we can get you covered any way you like. And you know what's really great? Rest assured, Magic Tree Pub and Eatery really takes the sanitation and the social distancing guidelines seriously. So you can trust them. Oh yeah, so you know, we want to thank the community for the support over the last few months and the pandemic, and uh, we're looking forward to a new year here. It's gonna be a great year. Go to their website or Facebook for the complete menu. Happy holidays. Selling engagement rings never gets old. It's love. It's a huge on-taking because they're gonna wear that ring probably forever, but if they're not gonna wear it forever, they're gonna pass it down to somebody. Our rings will hold a lifetime, and we wanna make sure it does. We stand by every single thing that we sell. I believe I can find the perfect ring. I really try to get them exactly what she would want. And to just be a little part of that is really, it warms your heart inside. Get real, get Kamara. Today I'm going to make a recipe that's easy, delicious, one pan, one large skillet, and it will feed an army. It is so delicious. You know, people will ask me uh, when my mom is in the kitchen with me, did she really like that dish you made? Well, let me tell you, she loves this dish. I was experimenting, I uh, shared it with her, and she is like, you have got to make this on your show. So, by request for my mom, I am going to make it. You are gonna love it. It's baked pasta with sausage and cheese. Let's go over the ingredient list, and then we'll get cooking. For this recipe, you'll need one quarter cup of olive oil, one pound of hot or sweet sausage bulk, six garlic cloves sliced or minced, one tablespoon of dried oregano, one teaspoon of crushed fennel seeds, one teaspoon of red pepper flakes, one 28 ounce can of whole tomatoes with juice, one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, three teaspoons of salt, one and a half cups water, one pound of a short pasta, shells, rigatoni, farfalle, one half pound of fresh mozzarella torn into pieces, one cup of whole milk ricotta, one half cup of shaved or shredded Parmesan, and one half cup of torn fresh basil leaves for garnish. All right, so I have a nice big skillet here. This is a good 12, 14 inch skillet, and it is oven proof, very important. Make sure you uh, warm the oil, which I've already done, and now I've added the loose sausage, and I'm just gonna cook it till it browns. It's no longer pink, about 10, five to 10 minutes. Well, see, it's nice, broken up, browned nicely. Now, I did use a um, hot sausage. You can also use sweet, but you know I like the spice. So now we're going to add the crushed fennel seeds. I'm also gonna add the hot red pepper flakes, which I love, the dried oregano, and I'll have you know that's from my garden. I dried that myself last summer, and the garlic. You could mince it, but I sliced it because I like getting that little treat when you get the whole slice of garlic. So we're gonna let this cook together and just let the garlic soften up a little bit. It'll be about two minutes. So now we're gonna add the whole tomatoes with their juice and the tomato sauce. All right, oh my gosh, you're gonna love this dish. So let's let them cook for a minute or two and then I'll start breaking up these whole tomatoes. I'm breaking up the whole tomatoes and then I am just going to let this cook for about 10 minutes. See how nice it's thickened up? So now I'm going to add the salt, the one and a half cups of water, and the pasta. Look at that, the whole pound right in the dish. I'm gonna stir this together. Oh, you're gonna love this. So now I'm going to bring it back up 
I'm going to simmer it some more. Get it thickened up just a little bit. It's just a couple steps. And now I'm going to add just half of the broken up fresh mozzarella. If you like it really gooey, you can use regular mozzarella. But then get ready, because it'll be super duper cheesy. But this kind of breaks down nicely, so that's about half. Now I'm gonna mix this in with the pasta and tomato sauce. So now this has simmered just for a couple minutes. And see how it's all coming together? Now we are going to turn off the heat here. Hopefully I reminded you, the oven should have been preheated to 425. Because this bad boy is getting ready to go in. Now what we're gonna do is finish adding the crumbled mozzarella. We are just going to drop little dollops of the ricotta and just kind of evenly distribute it. And just in case we don't have enough, the Parmesan right over the top. 425, the oven's preheated. I have an oven-proof big skillet. I'm gonna put it in for 20 minutes. Well, you let it rest just a little bit, about five or 10 minutes before you serve it. And then I just put some uh, fresh ground pepper on it and the uh, fresh basil leaves for a garnet. This is one of the top 10 things you make. Oh my, that's <laughs> quite high praise. Mm. Wait there. It's better every time you make it. I'll tell you what, look at this amount of food. Yeah. You could eat for weeks on this. That's Ken's right. all excited this is, is he? dinner tonight. Yeah, he really loves this dish too. And I thought a great accompaniment to this would be the very uh, price friendly uh, Bola Chianti. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice Cheers, Nazdrovia. Mmm. Mm. It just is Perfect. ideal with this Italian, it's basically an Italian meal. So, it has Delane's seal of approval. Oh. <laughs> Go <laughs> to my website, caseymaloneshow.com, and look for my recipe. The um, baked pasta with sausage and cheese. It, it is so easy and so delicious. You will make it time and time again. Mm. Thank me later. Cheers. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. Here at Creekside Fitness and Health Center, we are focused on you. From cardio and strength equipment to classes and personal training. The health of our members and staff has always been our top priority. Limiting class sizes, social distancing, and frequent cleanings are just a few ways we are making Creekside a safer environment for all. Membership and personal training specials are happening now, so come experience life on the fit side at Creekside, your neighborhood gym. r &S Paint is a locally owned paint store and not a paint department. Inspiration comes easy when choosing exciting Benjamin Moore colors and finish. Over 3,400 vibrant and durable colors are yours at r and Paint. 
My basement was dreadful. Cracked concrete, chipped tiles, it was my dumping ground. Carpet, vinyl, wood, don't last. Now I have Pebble Stone, the best basement floor covering, made with natural stone and the strongest man-made binder. Pebble Stone evened out my floor. Easy to clean, resists moisture, and withstands flooding. You will love your basement. Call today and receive 65% off and have Pebble Stone installed by the holidays. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. There are a lot of questions right now. Questions about our new normal, about how to unite a country divided and find equality for all. Tough questions, but here in Ohio, we've always been pretty good with answers. It's 1903. The whole world is asking, is it possible to fly? Ohio says, we've got two brothers we'd like you to meet. In 69, our country asked, who will take one small step for us? We've got the man for that. How do you make machines that move us? Machines we cheer for. How do you start a move? Make peace, honor, rock and roll. Come back down three to one. How do we recover from a global pandemic unlike anything we've ever seen before? Ask Ohio. We'll show you. This is Brian Tolnar. He is the PGA director for the Mill Creek Metro Parks and, of course, the main golf course yep. and the par three. And now you also oversee yes. the deck hockey. Absolutely. And we're in the warming house. And you may remember when we had the ice rink here, it is now a hockey rink but there's no Zamboni and there is no ice. It is, what kind of material is it made out of? Well, it's made out of what they call a copolymer surface. It's basically a combination between rubber and plastic and it's good for 12 months out of the year. And typically it's a surface that they use for this region of the country that has a lot of heat and a lot of cold in the winters. And so the, there's really no maintenance to it? Zero maintenance to and it. And you don't use skates? You use either, what, inline roller blades? You can use inline roller skates, you can use uh, foot, you can use scooters, you can use wheelchairs for adaptive sports. So it's got a myriad of uh, opportunity potential. I mean, you were telling me that this is the only one in the state of Ohio? This is part How did of, little old Youngstown, Ohio wind up with this? <laughs> well, there's a, there's a number of them in Pennsylvania, all part of the Pittsburgh Penguins Foundation. Uh, when Troy and Afcoloni were with the Youngstown Phantoms, we had an opportunity to sit down with them in June of last year to discuss what we thought we could do up here. And, and lo and behold, they got their connections down at the Penguins Foundation. Yeah, a little bit, you in, think? In check. And it was, like I said, it was between us, Newcastle, and Erie, Pennsylvania. And we're, we're the first one that they've crossed the, the state of Ohio, or state lines. Well, that is, I mean, that is really something. How familiar are the people of our area with deck hockey? Well, I think there's a number of people in the Youngstown Mahoning Valley that travel to Cranberry, they travel to Pittsburgh, they travel to Cleveland to be able to participate in winter and off-season leagues and in the summer. Um, and, and part of that is to get them back here to stay in the Mahoning Valley and be able to be able to take care of the sports that they like to enjoy, whether it's whether it's roller hockey, scooter hockey, or even box lacrosse and wall soccer. It's got many Many I different can't believe that. Of yeah, there. I mean, when I saw the lacrosse sticks, I, I'm not very proficient in any of those. But would you be able to substitute this for regular hockey to practice? Absolutely. Or would that would would that still work for reflexes? And and is it move that quickly the puck on this kind of surface? Absolutely. There's two forms that you can play. You can use what they call a hex puck, and that's for a puck on this plastic surface. Or you can use what they call as ball or street hockey. So it's played with a with a round ball, probably about the size of a baseball, and it moves a little bit faster than the hockey puck. But it's a good transition from you know not having the ability to be on ice time to be able to still participate and practice your, your shot in the whole nine yards. Now is this open to anybody so any kids can just come and and play on this? It is we're open 365 days a year you know weather pending of course if mm -hmm. you get snow and stuff it may slow you down a little bit but it's for for 12 months of hockey, lacrosse, wall soccer and, and adaptive sports as well so I mean it gives you a myriad of opportunities to play 
You know, the, the deck hockey rink itself, you know, comes with two players benches areas. You've got so two you penalty get boxes. Leagues. You, you have the leagues and everything. Absolutely, scoreboard, scorekeepers area, and, and so on down the line. Wow, I mean, th this is really, I think this is cool. First of all, I didn't know we were the only ones in Ohio, which I really like that we are outstanding in something here. And are you a good player? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. transition I'm, from uh, golf <laughs> to the deck hockey. It's the like Happy Gilmore, but the opposite. <laughs> okay. But no, it's it, it's fun. You don't have to be an avid player. You can play on foot. You can play on, like I said, the inline skates or anything like that. So I mean, you can run around on there and, and, and chase the the puck and the ball around. I we bring our little kid up here all the time, and he really yeah. enjoys himself to to go out there and run. So you really can't damage the surface. Like maybe not, not steal spikes, or you can't right. wear your golf shoes, right? Correct. Yeah, and. Um, but what else could you do on this? Uh, this well, you've got rink. box lacrosse, which is another sport that it, you know, with the walls and, and the setups with the with the, the sideboards and panels, you can play that as well as wall soccer. So it's basically a, another way, another opportunity. Our goal when we started here was to make the Wick Recreation Area the recreational hub for Youngstown, the Mahoning Valley. Yes. And part of adding the you know, the lacrosse and the deck hockey and, and the the wall soccer and adaptive stuff is in this deck hockey rink. So, I mean, it, it gives us a multitude of, of opportunities beyond baseball, softball, and everything else that the Wick area encompasses. And you won't really need the protective gear, do you, when, when you're playing with this? Because... You don't, we suggest it. Like that for you, your that face, you can bring a maybe? helmet or anything that you want to use just for protection. Uh, we do rent, you know, whether it be hockey sticks, multiple sizes, just like we would at the par three course. And we also rent the lacrosse sticks and, and pucks and balls as well. Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.